The playground just outside of a dome is now officially open. These markings over by containment. Now the main speculation revolving these markings is currently in regards to this year's Friday Nights event. The headpiece is just gonna be left over here at the farm. However, if we zoom into the area where it used to be, it's gone. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone. Today I'm here at the Fort Park Resort. I'm gonna be heading into the park to show you all of the latest updates that have been taking place. Now, just before I get into those updates, I do need to discuss the fact that the last video I uploaded to my channel was literally titled, Moving Away From Fort Park. And I said that I'd hold all of the information left about that house move for my upcoming house tour video. However, I do just need to clear up the fact that there will still be regular Fort Park content coming to the channel. I did just find it so funny that the next video after moving away from Fort Park was literally a Fort Park updates video. So don't worry guys, there will still be regular Fort Park content. Um, and yeah, I won't say too much else about that house move. Keep your eyes peeled for the house tour video coming soon where everything, including who we're gonna be living with, will be revealed. But yeah, otherwise it's a beautiful day here at Fort Park. Let's get in to check out the latest updates. So the first update I have to show you guys today is here at the Turnstar building. And this one links back to an update that I filmed months and months ago at the start of this season, in which I mentioned that they were gonna be putting in some new parking machines. Well, those parking machines, I'm happy to say, have now gone in. Um, so when you're leaving the park, or even when you arrive, you can come over here and get your car park ticket um, ready to scan at the barriers when you leave. Or it says you can even enter your number plate for a quicker exit. That's very cool. So obviously Fort Park is one of the only Merlin parks in the UK where they have kind of number plate recognition. So you don't even have to scan anything at the barriers if you put your number plate in. Another new addition in this turnstile building is this new big screen over here, which is looking really, really nice. It appeared for a little bit during um, Bright Nights last year, but it seems like it's now back and uh, it looks very permanent with like a new wooden gate on the side there. Uh, but yeah, very, very cool. And obviously they can change all of the content on here um, depending on the event and the time of year um, that it is. Obviously at the moment we've got Mardi Gras. And um, to be honest, the entire turnstile building has had a bit of a Mardi Gras overlay. We've got some nice designs going up around the archway with the sign and there's loads of beads absolutely everywhere in here. Yeah, very cool. Now, as soon as I leave the dome, we come to one of the most exciting updates in today's video. That's right. The playground just outside of a dome is now officially open. Oh yes, you can see people are going in. And yeah, it is up and running, finally. Obviously they started construction way before the park opened. There was a few delays. But yeah, I'm not actually gonna head in, but I will give you uh, as much of a tour as I can from the outside of the playground. As you can see, obviously you've got the playground classic. You've got some swings, you've got a little trampoline built into the ground. Um, then you've actually got this very cool double down slide, kind of like Logger's Leap inspired, isn't it? Um, with a nice grass path going up to it along here. And then you've got like a kind of playground area just down here. And then just on the other side of that, we've got a bit more of a wooden frame. As you can tell, I'm definitely no playground expert. But yeah, it looks pretty decent. And there's already some kids in there enjoying it. There you go, there's a wooden frame for you guys. Now I have actually got a little exclusive for you guys. I've been told by the park that there are some more finishing touches coming to the playground um, later on in the year. What they are, I don't know, but apparently um, there will still be some work being done on it um, later on in the year. But yeah, there you go. The playground is now officially open. So over here at the base of Depth Charge, there is something rather interesting that's been causing a little bit of stir online recently in the form of these markings over by containment. It's very faint on camera, but there's some blue markings just about there. 
and there are some blue markings just over there. Now the main speculation revolving these markings is currently in regards to this year's Fright Nights event. Obviously the 21st year of Fright Nights. And yeah, as I always say, whenever I see markings about on park, it could be absolutely nothing. It could just be another drainage system. However, yeah, there is currently a bit of a stir online as to what these markings mean. I've got so much love for this building here. Obviously after all of the work myself and Kieran did for last year's Fright Nights event, like the majority of the teaser campaign was all filmed inside this building. So yeah, I've got a lot of love for these uh, old shipping containers. So over here at Stealth, the UK's fastest roller coaster, we've had a new addition in the form of a new little photo board, which as you can see is a collaboration between Fort Park and the ice cream company Walls. So yeah, you can uh, come over here to Stealth and basically stand behind this board and you'll be on the front row. As you can see this one said, this ride is giving me the chills. I always thought you were cold. There you go. Now there are actually a few other of these photo boards around the park. The next one is over at High Striker, where as you can see, we've got this kind of carnival themed one, all fitting in with the theme of High Striker. But yeah, on this one, as you can see, it says, roll up, roll up, take your best shot. I always look cool on camera. So yeah, there we go. There's another one of the walls boards. There is one more over at Lying Fish, just to the right of the big entrance sign. If we get wet, we may freeze. I think it's too late. So yeah, it's a nice kind of amity, um, kind of summery design for the one outside Flying Fish. So yeah, definitely keep your eyes out for those photo boards located around the park. It's a nice little collaboration between Fort Park and Wolves. So over here in Old Town, of course, just behind you, we have the very exciting Project Exodus construction site. Now I'm trying my absolute best to not talk about this in these kind of update videos because I of course have my own dedicated series to Project Exodus construction where all of those vlogs will go. Um, so yeah, I'm trying my best not to talk about it. But believe me guys, there is a very, very exciting construction update being uploaded to that series very soon. So keep an eye out for that. You're gonna see a lot of stuff and I'm so excited to release it. But yeah, it's looking good and it? it's hard to believe that we could have the UK's tallest roller coaster behind this fence in a few years time. Oh yes. I need to walk away from the area to stop me talking about it anymore. <laughs> So in a few of my recent videos, I've of course talked about this fence down the Saw Alive Park, which has had a little refurbishment over the past few months, um, to now this kind of black wire fence, which I have to say looks really nice. It kind of lets you see a lot more through the lake than you used to be able to. Well, that fence has now extended right down from Saw where Saw Alive is around the corner, down past the cantina area, right over to Vortex. So yeah, as you can see, it's been done right over at this area as well. I really like this fence. It lets you see a lot more of the lake. And yeah, this entire length of fence has now fully been redone. Very nice. Back over here at High Striker now, the car game just next to the ride is actually having a little bit of TLC. However, it's not quite finished yet. However, just around this corner is probably the update that I'm most excited to share with you guys in today's video. If you've been here on a wet or around a wet day, you'll know that this is not an ideal place to be, especially this area here, because there's normally a massive puddle. Well, I'm very excited to say that the drainage system has actually been changed to allow essentially a lot more of the water to drain away, meaning hopefully, Fingers crossed, there won't always be a massive puddle here that you have to jump over every time you want to walk down this path. So yeah, it's been a long time in the making. I remember pretty much for as long as I've been coming to Fort Park, this puddle by Thornford has always been an issue, but I think it's finally been fixed by this new uh, drainage system. You know I love my drainage system, guys, and it seems like this is actually one. So yeah, very cool to see, and hopefully that will no longer be an issue. So those are all of the updates to show you guys within the park. However, I've got one more very exciting thing to show you at another location, which involves me jumping in my car and driving over. So let me show you that right now. Oh. 
So my final stop today is here at Fork Farm, which is an area that used to be a part of the theme park. However, now it's just kind of used for storage and other things like that. We actually used it for a lot of the Fright Nights filming that we did last year. Now, the reason I've come over here at the end of today's video, it might seem very random, but it is because previously they were using this as a storage space for the Carlos the Clown Head um, that was part of the Big Top maze during Fright Nights. However, ever since that maze closed back in 2017, the headpiece has just kind of been left over here at the farm. However, now, as you can see guys, if we zoom into the area where it used to be, just over there, it's gone. That's right, the headpiece that was there for so many years has now gone, guys. So yeah, feel free to drop a comment down below. Let me know what's going on with that. Has it just been moved indoors for storage or could it be being used for something else? Let me know what you think. And yeah, that brings me to the end of today's Fort Park updates video. I really hope you guys have all enjoyed seeing the latest updates that have been taking place at the park. I really love how frequently I'm able to upload these updates nowadays. There's always new stuff coming to the park. And yeah, it's so, so cool to see. Obviously the playground's now open. And as I said in today's video, keep your eyes peeled for this Project Exodus construction vlog coming soon. I'm so excited to upload that one. And yeah, there's just so many things going on. Obviously Mardi Gras taking place for the next few weeks. And then we're transitioning into carnival. It's all very exciting. So yeah, be sure to subscribe to the channel to be kept up to date with all of the latest Fort Park news and updates. And otherwise, my name is Jack Silkstone. Thank you for watching. Good.